Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. So it's Tuesday and you know what that means. It is going to be a haul and like I said in one of my last videos I think, I went to Minnesota over Labor Day weekend so I thrifted <laughs> quite a bit and it's great stuff. Also ignore the shirt, I just have been obsessed with Halloween since I was like an infant so I celebrate it early so it can last as long as possible. Um, yes, lots of stuff thrifted, thrifted from Minnesota, so stay tuned and get excited. <laughs> okay, let's start with shoes, because I only got four. It's a lot of half-off sales. I went to Savers, TJ Maxx, and Goodwill. I got these Steve Madden. Pava boots. Boots are very good for fall, so I had to get those. Oh, I also went to Annex, but I only got one thing. I got these real cute, really good condition Lucky Brand red boots. I got these really cute blue Vans. I don't think I've ever sold a pair of Vans, but I know they sell well. Here is my one thing from Annex. It's these Heeled Mules, brand new. Maybe try it on in the store, possibly. And they are Max Mara. These retailed at $785. I got them for $20, so that's fantastic. Okay. Let's move into my huge pile of pants, shorts, skirts, dresses, shirts, and the rest. Actually, I also got this one fossil wallet. This is the only bag slash wallet that I got because I thought it was cute and it was only three bucks. Okay, begin the clothing. This is an Ivanka Trump pleated skirt. That was $4.50. Ooh, it's all gonna fall. This is a, surprisingly, a coach button up. So that's kind of odd, but the one piece of coach clothing I have ever had sold very fast. So this is a sheer like kimono type thing and this is the new cabbie which I don't do very often either but I thought this was very cute and it was half off I got this Lulu's it might be a mini dress or it might just kind of be a top $10.99 but it was half off of that and it has these like open sleeves it's very hard to see but it's like netted on the sleeves Lulu's does real good for me, so it is worth the price. This Zara knit with pearls all over it was only a buck fifty after the discount. This I don't do altered state ever at all. I almost didn't even get this, but it was three bucks and it's new. So I thought, sure, <laughs> I'll try it. This was from TJ's, or Marshall's, sorry. It is Zara. It was eight, but I thought that was worth it. It's really cute. These I had never seen before, and I wish this didn't look so feminine on me. It is the letter J on there, and it's a We the Free, Free People shirt. These were from Marshall's. They were $5 each, and I'm saying these because I got two of them. I also got the K, which is really cool because it looks like, like a king, like from the cards. They're both five, and that wasn't even on clearance. This was from Annex. Actually, I got two things. <laughs> it's Cupcakes and Cashmere, which I've never tried. Retailed at 100 I got it for 10 That's really cute. This, I'm hoping it's like an ugly cute because I thought it was okay. It's J. Crew. It's like really thick turtleneck. It was 
350. It's J. Crew Outlet, but it's new J. Crew Outlet. So, ugly cute. This Bravado Guns N' Roses sweatshirt. That will do good for Halloween, and it's a band tee, so that'll do great. That was only, I think, like 250 so this is a plus-size ASOS Curve dress. I'd never seen that label before. That was 350 so worth it. This is a new Anthro brand I had never heard of, but I looked it up and it definitely is an Anthro brand. Har Harlan, Harlan, H-A-R-L-Y-N. That was $3. It like feels like suede, but I mean obviously it isn't. I don't know what to call this kind of texture. It's quite interesting. If this doesn't sell, I'm just going to keep it. It's J. Crew Collector's Tee. Just like wave with a sailboat. Cute. It was cheap too. I think it was like a buck fifty. This was from Marshalls. It's Zara Knit. It is a cold shoulder. And that was three. I got this Carl Lagerfeld sleeveless and I got this because it was two bucks wouldn't really usually get Karl Lagerfeld but my mom has sold it before so this was from TJ's it is free people just a pair of shorts it might be pajamas but it's not intimately so I don't think it is that was four this is made well really cute that was a buck forty Strange price, I know. But that, I think, will do great for fall. These page skinny jeans were six. So I thought that was worth it. I don't really like doing jeans. I don't really want more jeans. They don't sell too good, but... Okay, and then I also got a set that included those same shorts. And this set was six. So they must have, for some reason, only got one top and two shorts. Because the other one was priced separate, those other shorts. But either way, both, like, it's cute separate or together, so. This is a Nasty Gal collection. Did I show this in a haul already? I think this is old. But it's a maxi dress. I think collection means it's more expensive, I would assume. This intimately free, just plain tank top, I think was two. This Vineyard Vines, like one, one shoulder was eight, retailed at 98, that was TJ Maxx. I already, I got a Vineyard Vines um, scarf that was 10, retailed at 98. I already sold that for, I think, 60, so that's great. This really cute, like, neon yellow Free People sleeveless tank was 250 Cute. These J. Crew. See, I didn't want to get all these out-of-season things, but they're all so cute, and they're so cheap, so... But these J. Crew anchor shorts were $3.50. I really like these. I don't, like, ever do this brand. It's just American Eagle. But look at these. They're, like, ripped. They're patched. The hem is really cool. They're called, like, vintage... High rise, they're high rise, retailed at 70, so I don't know. I think those will do okay. This Free People tank top was three. Probably shouldn't have got this. It's old Free People, it's not that interesting. This pair of Anthropology high high pants, high high, was. Three, 
Actually, no, these were like, I think these were like a buck 20. That's why I got them. This was only like three, it's free people. Cute eyelet tank top. Probably shouldn't have got this, but it was so cheap. This was $2, it's North Face. Printed, sleeveless. It's hard when things are like $2. This is Tallulah, which is an Aritzia brand, kind of like Wilfred, which I know is really big in Canada. I don't know what it's like here. This was four, but I know Aritzia stuff is expensive, so I thought I would try that. And I've never seen Tallulah. This was $3.50. It is an intimately free, like, peasant dress, completely lace. Ugly in my opinion, but... Could be styled cute. <laughs> I thought this was cute. It's run with the original Nike sweatshirt. This was $3.50. This would be good for fall, I think. A sweatshirt, so. Saw this right when I was leaving. This was only a dollar fifty. It's Maeve. It's like this silk kind of like baggy front. I forgot what they call that now. Um tank or blouse. This is the last thing, and I'm glad that I piled it up in this pattern because I think this is my favorite thing that I found. This I thrifted for $3, and it's probably the absolute perfect thing I could have found for the season, and it's really cute. It is this, like, nasty looking in a good way. I don't... <laughs> Free people, like crochet or not crochet like knit cable knit thick like yarn kind of sweater like could i have found a more perfect thing for the season not really these and those like suede lucky boots i think are gonna do fantastic so i hope you enjoyed this haul i definitely think i found good things especially for the prices like i didn't spend much on all this as you saw and I was actually able to tell you the prices this time because I didn't take the tags off because I have not listed them yet. That is what I have to do now. So wish me luck with that. And let me know if you found any cool things for Labor Day sales. And yeah, also tell me what your favorite thing was that I found. I always like to see what you guys think was the coolest. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and please subscribe and bye.